Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Making an Impact with Zebu Nation and today we continue on with our five game challenge issued us to from the board to Zebu Nation saying you need 10 points out of these next five games or you're going to get fired. So we got to continue on with that and today we have the most difficult matchup of the five game stretch. But before we get to that there was a move in the uh, in the old transfers, you know, continuing to make plans, continuing to look for the future because we're not going to, you know, we're going to be confident and uh, assume that we're going to get these 10 points and continue on. So people are circling around Lootweiler, going to try to keep him for the rest of the season as our reserve goalkeeper just in case anything happens. But, uh, you know, we'll see about that. I don't think we're going to trade him away. Might trade away Crapo because he is, you know, a little bit of a malcontent in the locker room right now. But we're also going to bring somebody in this summer. We're going with Marco D'Alessandro. He is a 29-year-old Italian from Atalanta. This was a guy our general manager found. I just went to him and said, hey, we need a winger. Who you got on your draft board or whatever. And he found this guy. And he's pretty good, actually. Well, he's okay, but what he does is he replaces that raw speed out on the right wing that we lost when Mane went down with injury. Look at this, 18 pace, 18 acceleration, probably 15 agility. We haven't fully scouted him, but we mostly scouted him. He's good enough. You know, his mental stats are pretty good. He's got some nice flair, some nice aggression. Technically, he's not great, but he's good enough. He's, you know sort of borderline MLS quality technically wise we got you know he's he's slightly better than Mane is technically or pretty much the same anyway but he's better mentally he's actually a little better physically so he's a better player than Mane slightly not a great improvement but you know we're gonna bring him in it's gonna be a little expensive he's taken up a designated player slot so we are sort of mortgaging a little bit for this guy but not a whole lot he's not coming in with a huge salary not i think we got him for um like seven hundred thousand or something like that in terms yeah seven hundred twenty five thousand so no problems there i mean that's fine we got the salary cap room for him so we're gonna bring him in we're gonna strengthen up the wings which are currently are our weak spot with all those injuries that we have those season ending type injuries but he's not coming in until this summer. He's not going to help us in this five-game stretch. So we got to go on our own. And in this five-game stretch, we just beat Colorado 2-1. That was a good way to start it off. And now we go against, what, like I said, our toughest opponent of the five, which is Vancouver, the old West Coast rival that we have. And uh, they are currently sitting in sixth place in the supporter Shield. So they're pretty good. They got 33 points. We only got 25 points. So they've got, uh, you know, they're better than us this season. But uh, I guess we're going to go face to face and see how much better they are. Let's take a look at uh, transfer history. What have they done this season? Well, of course, they brought in the requisite uh, transfers. Four players from the Whitecaps residency. Probably some guys that we've seen on the under 20s team. Celebrini. Yep, defensive fullback. We definitely played with him. Justin Irving. What is he? A defensive midfielder. He looks real good. Very f Anyway, his physicals are really good. Mentals, pretty good. Technicals, a little bit uh, lacking, but that's okay. Simon, Simon Thompson? Not Simone. It's Simon Thompson. He's just kind of okay. Dan Miller. Nice name. Eh, he's all right as well. They got in a couple of guys from Orlando via the... Uh, the waiver draft, a couple of super draft players. Free agent, Callum Odoya. Odoya. Let's try this again. Callum Odauda. There we go. He looks pretty good. 25-year-old Irishman, a winger. Decent anyway, at any event. A couple of guys from Stuttgart. $3.1 million. Mario Gomez. 35-year-old German. Look at this guy. Gotta watch out for him. Probably, a, I was going to say he's advanced forward. 
I mean, I was going to say he's a target man. He looks more like a target man than an advanced forward because of that acceleration and pace, and he's got you know a lot of strength. But anyway, off the ball, ni 19. This guy is, uh, yeah, eight, probably 19 anticipation, 17 finishing. Oof, we're going to really have to watch out for that guy on the back line. He's going to score some goals. And then they got 23-year-old uh, American, Joel Sonora. He's less impressive, but, you know, he's okay, I guess. Another winger, sort of a backup dude. Lucas Taylor, 25-year-old Brazilian, valued at $3 bucks. They got him for free. 16 tackling defensive fullback. So he's pretty good. They have definitely improved their team. And then they got a couple of guys on loan from Argentinos Juniors and Atletico Nacional. Matko... Hmm, Milovic? Hmm. Anyway, 19-year-old American. Interesting. Attacking midfielder. Decent player. Nice first touch and dribbling. So he's a guy who can really control the ball in the middle of the field. And then Andres Perea, 19-year-old Colombian. Look at that. 15 long shooting. Decision-making, passing. He's a ball-winning midfielder. Yep, 13 tackling. He's almost like a... He could almost be a deep line playmaker type guy with his vision and passing as well. So yeah, they have they've definitely improved themselves. So we got a tough game coming up against us. We're gonna go again with the Burning Man formation, the four one two three DM wide. Let's go. So our next three games are decidedly winnable. They're all three Eastern Conference teams, all three teams that are lower than us in the standings. So we can only afford one loss in the five games. So if we lose to Vancouver, it's not the worst thing. But anything better than a loss against Vancouver is just, I think, money in the bank. Uh, let's see. Algerian players in action. we got six players called up for international duty. Um... Under 23s? What are the under 23s doing? Um, hello? Friendly. Get out of here, the friendly. Yeah, so we're going to tell them they cannot have Jiguer withdraw from the squad. My buddy. My buddy. Um, Chevalier, I guess he can go out. That's not the worst thing that ever happened, but we need Jiguer. This is like important stuff going on here. So, get out of there. Minier, okay, you're fine. Get out of here. Foreign transfer window opens. I didn't realize it opens tomorrow, but it does. So, we're going to get our new guy tomorrow, so that'll be cool. So, he will help us with this five-game stretch. I thought we were farther away from the transfer window. I had some plans for this transfer window. Sort of sell off some, uh, some guys we don't need. But I don't know that I want to mess with the team chemistry in the middle of this five-game stretch. We'll have to see how that works out. Carrera... Yeah, that's fine. Fitness test. Petrasso has come back. Jaguer, Andre are also fit, I suppose. Gonzalo is out there at TPS. So the only two games today is Chicago versus Real Salt Lake. And Real Salt Lake won that one 3-0. And then us against Vancouver is the only other game. Vancouver 6-4 favorites. They're, we're both coming in at inconsistent form. They got three wins in the last five. We got two wins in the last five. We're both fifth in our respective conferences. But uh, the record, as I showed you, is much different. Um, Milahevich is uh, away on international duty. That's good. Yuka Retala is doubtful. That's good. We got our two injured guys. Let's get to the team selection here. Medical center, do we have any um, any concerns medical center-wise? Chevalier, Pujol, that's it. Everybody else is okay, so that's, that's good. All right. Let's take a look at the team. I'm pretty sure we got it set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about the reserves? How are we looking in the reserves? Dupuis, Andre. Jackson Amell, Sweat, Taylor, Boxall. 
I mean, I know that we brought Lu Lopez in the last game and he was fine, right? I, I think I I think I'm correct that we I I can't remember. It's been a while since I uh, set this team up. Played six games. Did he play in our last game? I gotta I gotta I gotta remember. Cause if not, I mean, we're probably gonna bring Andre in anyway. But I'm trying to remember why Andre isn't in there. And, uh, yeah, there's Lopez. So he did play. He got 7.2 rating, so he played well. But I kind of think I'd rather have Andre in there, right? So Andre was probably a little banged up last game. And we needed to rest him, is my thought. Because we already have Sweet on the bench. He can come in for defensive midfield. So we shall bring Andre in. He could play the Carolero. Do we need him to play the Carolero? Get out wide? Or central midfielder a little? Well, it might uh, you know, give us a little bit more support out here. And uh, you know, spread out, spread out these boys in the middle a little bit. So I think that's okay. We don't have a left winger on the bench. That could be an issue. Petrasso's back. So let's do this. Um, there we go. Because Petrasso can play left or right equally well. So we'll bring him on on the bench. Jackson Amell can go to the right-hand side in a pinch. He can play that wide target man role. So there we go. All right. Bench settled. And let's get to the game. Big game, big game, big game, big game. Not a big crowd here for Vancouver. It's interesting. I mean, they're doing well in their conference, and we're a, should be a rivalry, but is this... Oh, this must be at Olympic Stadium. That's why. Because um, sometimes Vancouver plays at Olympic Stadium, right? No, it's at BC Place, so I don't know. How big is BC Place? 54,000. This is not where they usually play, right? Where is their normal stadium? BC Place. I don't know. They just uh, they just aren't going to sell out, I guess. 54,000. I mean, it looks like a pretty good crowd, but not a great crowd. Anyway, I'm too concerned about the crowd. They are going with a 4-2-3-1, so they're going to be a little bit aggressive here. they got Rowe in goal. Shh. Uh, B. Shea, who's this guy? Left fullback. Breck Shea, 30 years old. He seems to be more of a winger than a fullback. He's okay, though. Not great, but he's okay. Uh, O'Brien, Watson, Lucas Taylor fill out their defense. Chani, Watson, there's Reyna, Gomez. Yeah, we gotta watch Mario Gomez. Oh my gosh, that guy's too good. Daudia. Osario. Okay, so they got a very formidable attack. We got to watch out for those guys. Meanwhile, we got Thiago in goal, Pantami on the left hand side, Duvern on the right, Bruno and Chevalier. Ooh, this is not the defense I thought we had in there. This is not good. Um, Piet, Ramos, Andre in the midfield, Raheem Edwards, Mendez on the right, Kyle Aaron up top. So I'd kind of meant to switch out some of these guys, but I guess we'll go with what we'll go with. And play these guys, we don't really have an option. Alright. Um, the media have given you a lot of credit lately, so go out there and prove them worthy. Okay. Everybody likes the media, I guess. Right? No problems with the media these days. Uh, going to close down on these guys. I, th I think we have to tightly mark all of their top guys. I think, I think, I think, yes. All right, let's go. Get to the tunnel. What are your thoughts on Colorado parting ways with Franz? I hardly knew him. Uh, it's fortunate, unfortunate part of the game. Could easily be me. Derby day. How much do you look forward to taking on your rivals? Personally, always look forward to this one. There's a real buzz in training. You've left Petrasso out. Is that due to his, his recent injuries? Yes, he's not ready to start a match. How much is Milahevich's? We'll go with that. Absence in your... Uh, whatever, whatever. Um, um, it's unfair to single out individuals. Whatever. 
Uh, you have you had to speak to the team and remind them how important? No. Um, have we spoken about the importance of this game? I don't think so. I kind of forgot it was a rivalry game, sort of. Um, if we have a strong referee, we'll be fine. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, so here we are. B C place. Fifty four thousand seems like a seems like a pretty big stadium for Vancouver. I don't know. Bruno sends one forward. Mendez can't get to that. All right. So that's the first highlight. How are we looking highlight wise? We got extended highlights on. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Vancouver is controlling. What sort of um. We're just standard. We're very, very standard. The only thing we got on is tight marking. We have to see how that works out. All right, here we go. First highlight of the game. Watson gets it on the sideline. Centers to Chani. There's that man, Gomez. Everybody closes down on him. His pass goes all the way back to Watson. Reyna. Chani. Gets it out wide. Oh, nice steal by Duvern. He's going to start the counterattack. Gets it to Mendez. Andre, can he... I was hoping he would bump that forward. Andre, what are you doing? Oh, that's Ramos. Ramos. Oh, great pass out wide to Mendez. Mendez looking. He's got two men at the back post. Kyle Aaron with the header. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Rowe had to stick out a hand. That was the slowest counterattack in history, but it eventually got there. Edwards is going to chase down the corner kick. Gets it back out to Ramos. What's he going to do with it? He's going to get tackled. Should encourage our players to play a short passing play. I don't know. I'd really like to bomb it to Kyle Aaron and see if he can split their defense. But I don't know. Here we go. Osario heads one in. O'Brien gets ahead on it, but Thiago is there. That was an easy highlight. All right, 19 minutes. We're looking calm, looking confident here. Ramos and Laren. Here's a throw in near side for Duvern. Gets it into Mendez, who heads it on to nobody. That was a mistake there. O'Brien bangs it downfield for Gomez, who's wide open. Duvern gets back in time, and there's a mighty tackle. He tackles his own man, Piet. And Vancouver recovers possession. They center to Ansario. Oh my gosh, he had an open goal, and he just missed it. I don't know what our goalkeeper was doing, but he wasn't paying attention to the ball, that's for sure. All right, how are we looking ratings-wise? Pretty even. 6 eight, six sevens all over the board. Same with Vancouver. A little too early in the game to tell. They got 53% of the possession. Each of us have two shots, one on target. They got four fouls. Odauda gets the first yellow card. Okay. Saw him, a recent signee this season. Oh, we didn't look at their trades. I didn't see what trades they did, but their transfers were impressive enough. I kind of didn't want to look at their trades. I'd be too scared of this team. Duvern with a foul, but no card. Okay, 35 minutes and counting. If we get if we get a draw here, I'm okay with it. I'm fine. Like I said, this is the toughest team on the schedule. So anything above a loss is fine by me. We're going to play conservative. No problems. Here's here's Shea to Watson. To Arena. Shea. Oh, what happened there? What was that nonsense? It's like a goalkeeper slipped on a banana peel or something. Shea just... It's, it's like it was a cross. He, it's like he crossed it in. What happened here? Just just right under his arm. That was the sloppiest goalkeeping I've ever seen in my life. Concentrate, you knuckleheads. Especially uh, Thiago. Now that changes things up. We can't just sit around and do what we've been doing. Because they can now they can just sit on the ball and uh, do nothing. Man, I can't believe that. That was their fullback, their left fullback, just 
lightly crossing the ball in. And it goes in. Pep talk. Aggressive. Show me something else in the second half, you chuckleheads. All right. Analysis. What are we, what are we looking here? Struggle to control possession. Encourage our players to try and play a short passing game. Okay, we'll go with our... Instead of going with our gut, we'll go with our assistant coach. We'll retain possession. Short passing. Start the second half. I'm sure, like, five minutes into the second half, they're going to tell us that we should start bombing the ball forward. Bruno, not exactly a short pass, my man. Intercepted there by Andre. Again, not exactly a short pass. Osario sends one in from the corner, but it's knocked out. Reyna has it. Back to Osario. Centers to Chani. He's a big, tall dude. Thiago with a stop. Not a very confident stop. We might have to start bringing in Lutweiler here. If I mean, if Thiago struggles this badly, I don't know what his deal is. Raheem Edwards gets ahead on it. Okay, there we go. So that's two corner highlights for them this half. Let's see if this is a trend that continues. I don't like it. They are getting all the highlights. Chani to Shea. Watson. There's a good turnover. Pantomi, nice steal. The youngster gets it to Kyle Aaron. He's got Raheem Edwards. Let's get some support. Junior Ramos out wide to Mendez. Is he going to cross it in? No, he takes it himself and scores. Pass row. Good man. Mendez. Another one of our panic buys paying off. This is what I, this is what I like to see. There have been a lot of times with this, uh, this save where I bought somebody I didn't think we should, and he turned out pretty good. So Mendez is one of those guys. He's definitely gotten more out of him already than I thought we would, as bad as that sounds. I just have no faith in the transfer market. I don't understand it. And he gets injured immediately, of course. I don't understand the transfer market. I mean, I understand it sort of uh, rationally or logically, but just in my gut, in my bones, I don't understand it. So I prefer to, like, build players up from uh, my own heart, sweat and tears, blood, sweat, and tears. <sighs> yeah, th I always think it's like a gamble going out and getting these guys, especially spending big money on somebody. There's just too much of a chance that it's not going to work out. But anyway, here's Shani. Osario. Out wide to Odauda. Good steal by Duvern. Nope. He gets tackled. Odauda gets the ball. Chevalier comes over. Good win on the back post, but Shani with the rocket shot. Not happy with that. I mean, Duvern should have had this ball. He gets murdered. Odauda. I mean, great defense on the back post there, but then Shani just, I mean, I guess that's fairly indefensible. I don't know what anybody could have done with that, but it still doesn't make me happy. Kyle Laren again not playing a very good game. All right, I'm going to change this up. No, let's not get stuck in just yet. But we're going to change that. We're going to go more direct passing. See if Kyle Aaron can get get on track that way. I think we might have more speed than these guys. So I'd really like to try and use it. Osario sends it in. Andre heads it out. Reyna. Nice tackle. Go get the ball. Piet. Come on, buddy. I don't like it. Like They make a tackle, and their guy gets up immediately and goes get the ball. Our guy makes a tackle, and he lays on the ground and waits for the other team to get the ball. I don't like that. I don't know if that's work rate or aggression or what that is. Might have to get Mendez out of there as much as I wouldn't like to because he's, he's our best player at the moment. Let's yell. Um, let's demand more. How about that? All right, clock is just running now, so we're going to dial back on the re on the uh, long bombs. 
Okay, Duvern is playing terrible. We're going to bring in Boxall. Mendez is injured. So do we bring in Patrasso? Or do we bring in Jackson Amell? I think we bring in Jackson Amell to keep the wide target man action going on the outside. Come on, boys. Let's do something. Let's let's get some some action going here. Let's go attacking. Let's uh, prevent goalkeeper distribution. Let's get stuck in. Reyna has it for Vancouver. Out wide to Osario. He's just dribbling into space. Okay, good defense there. Again, Pantami is playing well on that left fullback. At least he's, he does so in the highlights. He's, not, he's only got a 6.4 rating, but he's he's playing pretty well. All right, 82 minutes. Let's go, 83. Just Okay, here we go, corner. Piet drops it back to Jackson Amell. Kyle Lahren. His shot was wide. We had guys offside anyway. Looking nervous. 87 minutes. All right, let's pause it. Um, let's make a tactical change here. And um, yeah, let's go four, two, three, one wide. Attacking. Move Piet up there, correct? Yeah. And going to bring in Lopez at that position. He can play there, correct? Yeah. Advanced playmaker support. Um, Ramos will go Mazala. Andre will go ball winning midfielder. No, I take that back. I take that back. I, uh, Piet is, uh, right now at better performance. Yeah, we'll put both of them at ball winning midfielder. Just have them win win the ball everywhere. Now we'll bring in Lopez for Ramos. Okay. This is about as good as we can do. Pantami, I guess we can send you forward a little bit on the support roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, we got to get a point. We need a point out of this game. We can't just sit around and do nothing. All right, here's Rowe going to send it up. Watson. O'Brien just bangs it forward. Here we go. Andre wins it. Let's start it up, boys. Jackson Amell out wide. He's looking, looking for Kyle Lair. No, O'Brien wins it. Odauda starts it to Osario. Bangs it head to Gomez. He's not behind the defense, but he's all around. Okay, good defense. Jackson Amell gets to Kyle Lahren. Out wide. Lucas Taylor brings it in, unfortunately. They're just going to keep banging it downfield. Bruno, good save. 89 minutes. This is a long highlight. I don't know what's going on here. Jackson Amell wins it. Nice steal by Lopez. He gets it forward to Kyle Lahren. Great play. He's behind the defense. He's holding off one man. Can't sneak it past row. That was a good highlight. Five minutes of stoppage time. Okay, let's get one. Let's get a late goal, boys. Let's go. Here we go. Free kick. Free kick. Piet centers to Jackson. He ricochets it off two men. Offside Andre. But I guess that's a good highlight. All right, the highlights are coming fast and furious. This is what we want. O'Brien to Watson. We're... Trying to deny the short place. He's going to have to play it long. 
Boxhaw, good play. Tries to get it forward to Jackson Amell. Lopez is there. Good man. He is tackled. Jackson Amell wins it. Andre tries to get to Lopez. Can't do it. Come on, boys. Concentrate. Osario on the attack. Gets it forward to Gomez, the old man. He's tackled. Boxhaw, though. Moves it forward. Kyle Lahren on the attack. One on two. Got support coming up behind him. Come on, let's go. He's going dangerously wide. He sends it back post. Tries to get it to Jackson Amell. Andre's there. He gets it to Jackson Amell. That's going to be a corner. Still three and a half minutes to go. Three minutes to go. Piet drops it all the way back to Jackson. He takes a terrible shot. All right, two and a half minutes to go. Clock is slowly ticking. There's a substitution. For one minute to go, 30 seconds to go, less than 30 seconds to go. Throw in, Pantomi near side. This is probably the last highlight. Lopez back to Pantomi. He sends one in. Taylor heads it down. Piet with a shot. Oh, just off the post. Yeah, just off the post. All right, so there is our one loss. We can't afford another loss. We need points out of every game going forward after this. Let's go to the dressing room. Pep talk. Far from pleased. Get out of here. You're, you're putting my job in jeopardy, you chuckleheads. Mendez injured out for two weeks. Well, hey, we got his replacement coming in tomorrow, so good news. Good news. Bad news, I guess. All right. So we'll come back next game for New England. And friendly versus Bologna, which we're not going to look at, but play it anyway with all of our reserves. Then NYC and Philadelphia. Those are three games we should win. We're ahead of all three of those games in the, in the schedule. So we just need... We need seven points out of these three games. So that's two wins and a draw. Minimum. Okay, so we'll get back to that, and we'll come back next game. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.